Hey, hey, happy Thursday. So Spirit has been going over with me more um, topics to bring up. And um, I love it when they bring up a topic that I'm super familiar with. Um, outside of doing all of my healing work, I've been a medical esthetician for many, many moons. Before that, massage therapy. So anatomy and physiology is near and dear to my heart. And I've often said, if everyone could take a basic anatomy and physiology course, they would have more respect for how the body works and then what you're doing to it in the external and internal environments. So today's topic is uh, your skin. So your skin produces oil through the sebaceous glands. And the purpose of the oil being produced is to protect. It's to put a coating of lubrication between bacteria and germs getting through into the skin and into the bloodstream. Remember, your skin is your largest breathing organ. It's like your screen porch, but it's waterproofing your internal body, but it's allowing nutrients in, toxicities out, etc. It also is full of massive nerve endings for um, your sensory system to be accustomed to touch, to have peripheral warning signs. Uh, you know, the original purpose of hair on the body is to notify you when an insect is on it. Yes. Yes, indeed. So when an insect lands, the hair sensories stimulate the nerve sensories, etc. If you happen to be bitten, lots of times um, the skin will respond with an oil response. It's like, ah, no, no invaders. So it goes into protection mode and sends all of its little army to that area to protect the bite from getting into the bloodstream. So why am I talking about this today? I'm talking about what we've been experiencing in the last three years, and that is the overzealous hand washing and the insanity of hand sanitizers. So washing our hands with natural soap, which is naturally an antibacterial, by the way, it doesn't need to state it on the soap container. If it's real soap, especially not diluted, it's got a strong concentration of antibacterial, antimicrobial. So it's always been wash your hands a few times a day. Always wash your hands after going to the bathroom so that you don't um, spread that bacteria out into other public places. Also, prior to preparing foods, you cleanse the hands for a good 20 to 30 seconds with a natural soap to cleanse off your hands so that you're not transferring bacteria and microbials onto the food that you're about to serve because the food already naturally has stuff on it and the digestive tract works on taking care of that. But let's talk about the skin. So the sebaceous glands produce oil that lubricate the skin that slow down or prevent microbials, bacteria from getting into the skin. If we are over washing or over drying the skin through the sanitizers and through soap products, we are exhausting the sebaceous glands till they stop producing properly. They never have a rebound time frame. 
because they're constantly being dried out. So whenever the skin is dry, it's a signal to the sebaceous glands to produce more oil. But if we're in this mode of wash, wash, pump, pump, we're never allowing the recoil system. We're never allowing the rebounding. And so what are we doing? Drier skin will allow more invaders in, which is why in the skincare arena, we talk about using healthy moisturizers. They're not just there to hydrate the skin and, and puff it up and make it look more beautiful and fuller. It's also a protective barrier. So you need to select products that don't have petroleum, don't have a lot of chemicals, don't have mineral oils in them, all of which clog, clog the pores and can create comedones, which is breakouts. But you're clogging the pore, so if you're clogged here, the sebaceous gland can't produce the oil for the skin. It's clogged. So some of us naturally have a little drier skin. Many Europeans who have smaller pores don't produce as much oil. So we require more hydrating foods, more external products of healthy choice. Um, and then there's some that will overproduce oil and that's just the larger pores and the DNA of which your lineage and your constitution is. It's all very healthy, but we're taught, oh, more oil, ew, gross, shiny face, powder it down. So remember, these are all old programs of beauty taught to us by the not so nice folk. And it's all about how to destroy the human body and get it to disintegrate through diseases. And we're here, and this avatar in this lifetime to say, hold your freaking horses. This is not occurring. Natural, healthy homeostasis, reaction, receptors, sensory systems of the body are absolutely normal, which we've been taught have been abnormal so we got to look at this inverted stuff okay so any hoo-ha slow your freaking roll on the pump oh I gotta protect myself that's an emotional taught incorrect information fact and I see people every time they touch something, especially at the bank, pop, 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 in the grocery store, pop, 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 oh, I'm gonna wear gloves. Oh my God, I'm gonna wear gloves. Oh my God. So that's an emotional fear. And then you're feeding that through pumping and overwashing. So don't dehydrate the skin. Allow the sebaceous glands to do what they need to do. Add your moisturizers that are of healthy, low chemical, no mineral, no petroleum choices. If you have questions about that, leave me a message in the description. Leave me an email at info at embodimentofthesoul.com. I have links to products that I use in my medical practice that are the bomb.com. You're welcome to the link. Just ask me for it. Okay? So anyway, cleaner living without all the washing, and without all the pumping. It's not necessary. Now I say that from my own experiences and education. I'm not a doctor and I don't play one on TV, but I've worked for enough doctors to know what type of additional education they get and they don't get, which is why they really can't comment unless 
AMA, American Medical Association, or some paper comes out with this is what you're supposed to do. But we've also known the trickery and who's paid for those studies that are not necessarily the truth. But unfortunately, many doctors have to follow certain things in order to keep their malpractice intact. So they know nothing about herbs. They know nothing about alternative stuff because they're not trained in it at all. So if you're going to work with somebody, work with functional medicine, functional nutrition, someone in the wellness, Ayurvedic practitioners, etc. So, any hoo-ha, have a fantastic day. Just know that you're clean. Let your body do what it is to do. And stop distorting its ability to do what it needs to do. All right? Love that column of light. It's all you've got. Love it. Allow it to, lead, to live. Allow it to live in its proper homeostasis. Okay, much love.